Hello. Um, I've had the phone for a while. I would uh, thought I'd uh, show you some of the apps I've installed and uh, how I'm using it and uh, how cool it is. Um, so yeah. So this is the uh, T-Mobile G1. Oh look, there's me. Hello. Um, and uh, let's see, let's turn the thing on. There we are. Alright, so there's the... Uh, oh, it's logged into an application. Let me just go to the home page. There we go. So here's the, uh, the home page. I've got set up. Uh, this is actually the home page here. But um, I often use this screen. I've got some shortcuts to some applications. Um, I've got my, my, my usual stuff here, like you know, email, messaging, and um, the Steel browser, which is not the default browser for Android. It's a, a browser I downloaded from the marketplace, which is superior to the built-in browser. Um, various other things, a note-taking application. But um, I'll show you the browser first. So I've got a link to Google Reader here. It's the Google Reader that's used for the iPhone. At least it was developed for the iPhone, but it works fine on the, uh, the Android device and in the Steel browser that I use. <coughs> it's connected with G3. Um, it takes a second to load because this is a pretty rich uh, web page and uh, G3 isn't that fast. Uh -huh. It actually usually loads faster than this. No, it does, really. No, really. No, really. Okay, anyway, uh, so this is Google Reader. Um, I've got all my feeds in here, and the, the default thing it's showing me is my home feed, which combines all the feeds I, I follow in, in Google Reader, which is a hell of a lot. More items. And there they appear, and you just keep scrolling. It just scrolls. Very cool. Um, so I can, uh, let's see. I'll go to the top and go to feeds and uh, it shows you all the feeds I follow in Google Reader. It's just almost uh, the same as the, uh, the interface you get on the, the normal website. So here are my categories. As you can see, lots of categories, lots of unread items, some uncategorized stuff. Okay, I'll go back. Um, you can also do friend feed, of course, which is the second thing I check quite often. This is FriendFeed to go, which is the mobile version of FriendFeed. And uh, that works almost the same way as the website, which is rather cool. Um, you just scroll through that, and uh, scrolling is really nice on this thing. We go next. Right, you get the idea. Right now, the application I use. Uh, a lot as well as of course Twitroid. Twitroid is the uh, the best Twitter client on the Android platform right now. Um, let's see if it'll load the tweets because Twitter's been having lots of API problems today. Oh, there we are. So again, you've got the the the, the lovely scro smooth scrolling. Um, see the people I follow on Twitter. Now let's uh, leave a tweet. Flip the phone. Up goes the thing. Has the keyboard. Twitchroid automatically detects that I've got the keyboard out, so it gives me the uh, typing interface up there. And I shall say... Hello. This is a test. And tweet. Sent. Okay, now the second application I have um, for twittering on here, it's not on my main screen, it's in my programs menu. Uh, where is it? It's the second one I've been trying out, but I actually used it for a second Twitter account, my sysadmin Twitter account. Here we are, twit to go I'll show you that one. twit is a little slower than uh, Twitroid, but um, very similar. It looks almost the same. So you've got the same kind of smooth scrolling. It's kind of cool. Uh, and it's got similar features. I can um, 
go to the menu and say I want to um, leave a tweet or I can reply to someone. me a text field I can fill in. Okay, now it's a Google phone, so what would it, you know, wouldn't be Google if it didn't have a search bar, of course. <clears throat> you can also go do Google voice searching, which is interesting. See the little microphone? If I press it, I can say, Wowcast. Oh, Wowcast. The wild cast. Well, almost. Anyway, you get the idea. You can search for something like that um, opening the thing for typing, but you know, whatever. Um, what else have we got? Okay, messaging is of course uh, texting. Um, let's see, these are all text messages. Um, and it, it groups them like a Google groups um, email messages so it makes it look like it's an IM chat. It's kind of nice. But those are just text messages. It does the same for email of course. It uh, integrates with your Gmail account uh, which is very nice. Um, again you've got the, uh, the nice uh, haptic scrolling And I can access, uh, under the menu here, I can access my other labels and uh, do other things. Search, refresh, mark things as spam, etc. Well, of course, I've got the calendar app, but um, well, that's not very special. It's the same kind of calendar as you would have in any, uh, you know, on any device, really. Um, of course, it's got uh, built-in GPS, so uh, Google Maps is cool. Um, you don't have the GPS on all the time because it drains the battery, but um, but yeah, having Google Maps on here is kind of nice. It's very similar to the iPhone, and um, you can record GPS tracks with the My Tracks application, which is by Google. Um, well, picture support. Uh, it has a camera, um, which is a, which is a, um, a three point two megapixel camera, so uh, we can take pictures. I'll take a picture. Um, so it's, let's see, is the camera on? Oh no, it's this, sorry. Um, I need to press this button here. Keep it pressed in, and now it'll turn the camera on. There we go. Let's turn it around and make a picture of the camera. Oh, I've got the sound turned off, so I don't know if it took it. Oh dear, it was a bit delayed. Okay, that does happen. Android can be a little bit slow on this machine is because the G1 actually isn't it's kind of it's a little weak on processing power. I'll try that again. There we go. Oh look at that. So it gives me a little menu which disappears after a while but um, I can say share and it gives me a little context menu which is very cool. And uh, I've got Gmail and messaging, of course, but um, programs can add themselves into this menu, like BuddyMob has. BuddyMob's an IM application I'm trying out. And Twitroid is here, of course, which is very cool. And Twitroid integrates very nicely with TwitPic, so I'll say... Showing... Off... Oh. My... G1 to the camera. Send. Uploading photo. And it posts to Twipic, which in turn, of course, tweets. Um, so, yeah, very cool. Very fast. Um, that's about all I wanted to show you. I'm really happy with this phone. Battery goes very quickly. That's about the only downside. Um, it's very cool. It's very stylish. I love it. So, uh, yeah.